welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be vlogging with you guys. It's a rainy day out. I figured we could have a little bit of like a cozy chill vlog. And then tonight I'm actually heading out to a Toronto staycation. But we still have a few hours before that happens. Bentley gets to come with me tonight so I'm super excited about that. And uh, there's going to be like a wine tasting and all of that fun stuff. So it's going to be a bit of a crazier night. Which is why it's like extra nice that it's a rainy day. Someone asked me to do a video and talk about how basically to keep your head on straight when you feel like there's just a lot going on like when you're overwhelmed and to be honest the last two days I feel like I've just been like, I've been overwhelmed and it's just a matter of like it's like a healthy overwhelm in the sense of I know why I'm overwhelmed but it doesn't change the fact that I feel that way like you know that you have things to do you know that you're gonna feel better when those things are done but you're just like you're stuck in here and having them done and knowing that there's a lot you have to do to get those things done I've been really trying to prioritize self-care this month and just like getting enough sleep and eating healthy foods and just drinking a lot of water and making sure that I'm not drinking too much caffeine and prioritizing as much as I can but there's only so much you can do but days like this when it starts to rain and it's just like a good excuse to kind of cozy up and stay indoors they're kind of like little the ability to kind of take a breath take a breather for the day so it's actually going on noon I have this weird thing where I actually genuinely enjoy running errands when it's rainy out so I'm thinking we could bundle up in a bit and go and grab some groceries I kind of wanted to meal prep I don't think I'll have time today but even just a few things to kind of tie me over when I'm back tomorrow. And uh, I'm not gonna lie, I wouldn't mind another coffee. I've only had one so far today. I'm trying to limit myself to two a day so that I don't make myself like caffeine anxious. Now that I'm finished the stuff that I needed to be on my computer for, um, let's jump into our rainy day activities. <laughs> comes to basically keeping yourself balanced and not getting too sucked into just any time of the year that you find yourself super stressed or having a lot to do. I feel like one of the first things is, like I said, prioritizing self-care, making sure that you're eating good foods, making sure that you're getting good sleep, making sure that you're moving your body. Even if it's light exercise, like just doing a little yoga stretching in the morning, anything that's just going to make you a little less up here and a little more like I was gonna say in here, but like in your whole body, you know? For instance, like I was running behind this week with all the stuff that I had to do and my groceries just like didn't get done. So I found myself starting to kind of slip into just like, you know, like ordering Uber Eats or like going and grabbing some takeout. And I just know that as soon as I do that, I start to feel really crappy, like if I let it go too long. So I ran and grabbed some groceries today. I figured I'd show you guys like a little haul. Picked up some new sunflowers. Another good tip I feel like when you're stressed is to surround yourself with pretty inspiring things. And sunflowers are my favorite, so. I picked up some fresh bakery bread as well. Um, and then a lot of fruits and vegetables. So I got banana, I got a red pepper, cauliflower rice, tofu, apples, organic broccoli and zucchini, mushrooms and hummus. We got butternut squash, microgreens, I picked up some of this organic raw goji energy. Go, push, go. I just picked up a little bit of coconut aminos, which is basically like a substitute soy sauce, and some chili garlic teriyaki sauce for stir fries. We also had little shots of, this is from Greenhouse, this is just like a Toronto brand. They're just really good for your stomach. One of the side effects for me whenever I find my like anxiety is a little bit more peaked than usual is I get like a really upset stomach and my digestion just gets super, super whack. These always kind of help. Plus there's just something, I don't know, I love taking spicy shots. Organic, fresh, cold pressed lemon, apple cider vinegar, and cayenne extract. Bottoms up. <laughs> So it's about 1.11 now. Um, I'm gonna put my groceries away, make myself a quick little bite to eat for lunch. Also, I picked up, I finally picked up a new compost. Our old one got really gross, so I haven't been composting like as of more recent, but so I'm gonna crack up my compost now as well. I gotta tell you something I could do. I could be running or I'm chasing you, but I won't. Cause I got better, better things to do. I spent my precious time chasing somebody who loves me too. If I got a dollar for every time you slam the door, I 
would be the richest girl. So I took a quick break from doing some computer work to sit down and just flush out a new routine and schedule. And I guess that that might just be my next tip when it comes to just like an overwhelming amount of things to do is to not be afraid to kind of bend your rules a little bit or like break your routines and break your habits and remorph them. Basically change up your life formula so that it's going to sustain you and help you get all the things done that you need to get done rather than feel like you're kind of like on a hamster wheel. So for instance, for Utober this month, I've really, really cut back on just like how much I was working out and how much I was just like trying to do a million different habits in a day and instead just chose like the top three personal ones, the top three work ones. So because my routine has been just all up in the air and all over the place, I decided to kind of sit down and take a second to rewrite it out. Times where you're kind of feeling like overwhelmed, it can be really easy to see that end game looking a lot further than it really is. So taking just a second to even just write down how you feel, like you don't even have to bullet journal out a routine, you can just use a journal journal and write out your actual, just like, you know, just where you're at, just write down anything that's going on inside your mind, just to kind of get it out and be able to kind of unload it from your shoulders so that you can move on to the next thing you need to do, which for me is pack my bag. Yeah, I beat you at your game. And if you were me, you would do the same. Man, I really love Okay, so we're pretty much all packed up and ready to go. I feel like if I don't take breaks, if I don't find a little peace of mind by taking a piece of my own time, then I go crazy. So even though I'm gonna be vlogging tonight, and even though I'm gonna be doing some computer work and some editing at the hotel itself, I'm kind of looking at this little hotel getaway as a mini getaway. Just getting out of the house, getting a, some wine and a free dinner. I got an opportunity actually to come to this wine tasting tonight, and it's paired with like this fancy dinner, and it's at the Intercontinental in Yorkville. So we just got here not too long ago and we're gonna hang out for a little bit before I have to head down for the dinner. I'll give you guys a tour of my hotel room. So to the left, closet, but with a full length mirror. I also definitely will be putting this on. Okay, and here we have the bathroom. Hello again, lighting on fleek. We got a nice shower. Back out here we have Bentley. Um, and then this is like a full tour of the room. So big king size bed. Also, how cute is this, guys? They put out little pictures of Bentley. So then there's just the desk, the TV, and out here, let's take a look at our view. And now, um, yeah, I just, I don't really know exactly what now. I'm probably gonna change into my outfit pretty soon, but I have about are you looking at the window? The dinner is at six and it's currently 3.51. I have about two hours, so I'm gonna do some Utober work and probably just chill for a little bit. Make like a, a legitimate, realistic game plan of like how much I can actually get done between now and the end of October, and then how much I'll actually be able to get done once October is officially over and I'm back into like normal free time hours. So yeah, that's currently the plan. We're gonna, we're gonna do a little Toronto staycation. I've got some fun stuff for tonight. I brought face masks and books, a tarot deck, and there's a gym here I want to hit it in the morning ain't that right howdy so I'm back at home now it is officially what day is it Thursday it's Thursday so if you're seeing this on Thursday Hi, and if you're not, hi. I'm gonna leave you guys with two of, I think, the biggest things that I feel like the last 24 hours has taught me. One was from a book, and one was just from my own mind. I don't know, I was just thinking about it recently. I was writing in my journal this morning about expectations and how I think that during periods or during times where we're most stressed out or when I, I guess, am most stressed out, I think the thing that kind of makes things worse rather than better is the feeling of like pressure of expectation that I'm putting on myself. Obviously I have a lot of deadlines coming up and if you're watching this and you're relating to anything I've talked about in this video, maybe you have a lot of deadlines, maybe you just have a lot of things on your plate, whatever it is. It's not necessarily the fact that we have so many things on our plate that stresses us out. I think that a lot of the times it's kind of our expectations on how we expect to deliver all of those things or to do all of those things. And when we put 
expectations on ourselves, we take all of the fun out of everything we're doing. So the first thing that I'm learning is to change my expectations into excitements. Instead of thinking like, I'm expecting this of myself, I wanna think I'm excited to do this. And then the second thing that I've learned in the last 24 hours of just being in this mood is that I was reading the seven habits of highly effective people when I was eating my breakfast this morning at the hotel. When we get so caught up into managing things like time and things, i.e. you know your routines, your schedules, and how you're gonna get everything done and when everything is done, that is a good sense of management. But a lot of the times it kind of leaves us feeling constrained and like we can't feel fun and spontaneous in life. That tends to happen when things get busy. We try and like make sure everything's aligned and that we have everything planned and controlled, but life isn't planned and controlled. So in the book, Stephen Covey talks about how instead of trying to manage time and things, we should learn to manage relationships and results. Meaning even if it's the relationship with yourself, Whenever you show up to do anything, do it in a way that you're putting the relationship between you and the thing that you're doing first and the result that you're going to get at the end of it, rather than the thing you need to check off your to-do list and the time that it's going to take and the slot that you're putting it in in your life. It gives us the space to allow ourselves to continue to work on our relationship with ourselves and keep other people around during busy times, but also to see it in a way that that's going to help us gain better results because we're going to be all around more enjoyable, all around healthier, and all around just you know, keeping our head spaces clear and happy, even when the seas are kind of rocky. So yeah, those are the things that I would say. I would sum up this whole just self-care stress vlog with. And aside from that, I hope you guys enjoyed today's vlog and I'll see all of you guys in the next YouTube video. Bye guys.